Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Jose. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Um, I'm good. You're okay. Okay, yeah. perfect. Perfect. Okay, you ready for another English class? Yes. Okay, um, perfect. We are going to wait a little bit for the, your classmates. Let's see, Jaime Hernandez. Are you there, Jaime? Hola, hola, todo. Are you there, Jaime? Yeah, probably you're kind of busy. Let's see. Oh, teacher. Okay, hello, Jaime. <clears throat> How are you? Fine, te fine, teacher. Okay, perfect. You're ready for the yes. class? Yes, I read it, teacher. Okay, uh, perfect. Perfect. My, you're ready. My, my PC, uh, it's late around five minutes for for in the class <laughs> oh, uh, around, for more for you, more minutes <laughs> you, you started like two two more minutes or like two minutes ago yes and, and, and i i computer is it's late for in in the class ah okay i understand <laughs> i understand okay very good but it's okay i'm glad to see you here again in the class also Jose, also Karen. Well, Karen already uh, disconnected. So we are going to begin. Let me see, did you work in the platform already? Do you have questions about the platform? Any exercise? Preguntas de la plataforma? Do you have any question about it or any doubt about any, any exercise? I, I I make uh, the session four. Mm -hmm. Only I watch uh, I watch the video. You watch the videos only from session yes. four. Okay, that's okay. Because yes. next week will be the last one. We almost finish. So if you finish section three already, that's okay. Okay, that's that's good for you. So you won't be late to deliver this this uh, information or, or the exercises. So we are going to begin here. Let's see this uh, module. Uh, good evening, Noe, good evening, Aiza. This module we are going to, or this section we are going to study, um, as I already said before or yesterday, the models, right? The models and some, a little bit of vocabulary about, um, expressions right or kind of feelings let's see so this is the um, the module that if you have any question or any exercise that you're missing we can solve it right now or if there's any problem if you don't have questions we are going to begin okay good evening juan linares let's see who else is here eric cardoza good evening so let's see here this is section five. And we are in section four, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, section four. Section four. Yes, I thought that we were in section three, but now it's section four. Okay. In, uh, in the meantime, let's let this uh, platform load for a little bit. And we are going to begin with a little bit of vocabulary. So in this section, we are going to study or the objective for this class will be learn vocabulary for describing feelings and gestures. So that will be the objective for this class. Now, feelings like can be uh, like uh, adjectives, right? Or in gestures also. So we are going to review a little bit of adjectives here. For example, this will be popular emojis. We have I'm bored, I love it, great job, that's awful, I'm not amused, 
that's amazing, just kidding. I'm laughing so hard, I'm crying. I'm so embarrassed and my heart is breaking. So those would be some emojis that you use or you uh, use to express yourself or your feelings, right? When you send a text message. Um, let's see, no, A, what is your favorite emoji? What is the one that you use the most? Great job, teacher. Great job, very good, yes. perfect. Let's see, uh, let's see. Actually, these are one of the most popular, right? So these are just some expressions that we can use also. And we are going to talk about body language. In this case, or um, through the camera, it's kind of difficult to, to see like your body language, but we can see some examples here, right? For example, the first girl, what, what is she doing the first one? The first woman. Are you able to see? What is she doing the first in the first picture? What is she doing? She's scratching her hair. Exactly. She's scratching her head. Do you know what the meaning of scratching is? Scratching. Rascar. Rascar. Very good. Rascandos. Exactly. So she's scratching her head. Um, in body language, what will be like something that you might think that she's doing? Like, how does she feel? She feel happy, <clears throat> frustrated, irritated. What is she trying to express with that body language? What is she trying to do with that body language? Like scratching her head. When you do this, uh, what is the feeling or... Uh, what, how can you? She what can is you confused. She is confused. Exactly. Next one. What is she when doing? I... The next one. She's nervous. She's nervous, probably because she's biting her nails. Right, biting her nails. Perfect. The next one is rolling her eyes. She's rolling her eyes. What is the feeling? What is she feeling? What do you think that she might be feeling? Mm. Is this good or impassioned? No, this good. Probably she's disgusted. disgusted. Probably she's disgusted, or probably she is like bored. Probably. Next one, she's tapping her foot. What can you think about that? Tapping her foot. Anxiously. She's anxious. Uh huh. Or impatient. She's bored. Impatient. Impatient, bored, or uh, yes, probably nervous also, right? Next one, what is she doing? She's, she's frustrated. Frustrated, perfect. She's frustrated. She's frustrated, she's pulling her hair out, right? And next one, she's wrinkling her nose. She's irate, ira I don't know what the pronunciation is, irritant. Irritated. Uh, irritated. Irritated, exactly. Or probably she's frustrated also, right? Very good. Or disgusted also, right? So that will be the body language that we are going to study, right? So scratching her head, biting her nails, rolling her eyes. That is body language. And that is really important for different things, right? So we are going to check that. Also, uh, this is the same, right? For example, um, I nails who is biting his nails in these pictures a b c d e or f yes letter d exactly who is rolling his eyes a b c d e letter c letter c perfect who is tapping his foot i'm oh, sorry who is scratching his head hmm. The F, right? The last one, the F, wow. scratching his head. Impatient. He is who is tapping his foot? Tapping his foot. Letter E. Letter E, Letter perfect. E. Letter e. Who is twirling his hair? Twirling his hair. Letter A. A, very good. And who is wrinkling his nose? Letter B. Letter B, perfect. So we already know 
what they're doing and also what they're trying to express. So some of the pictures are trying to say that they are probably annoyed, bored, confused, disgusted, embarrassed, exhausted, frustrated, impatient, irritated, etc. Right, nervous. That is the body, body, body language. Hi, Maria Siguenza. You cannot see the screen. Okay, I will try to share it again. Voy a tratar de compartirla otra vez para ver si la puede ver. Sometimes this happens, but probably it's the internet connection. A veces es la conexión a internet. Okay. Are you able to see, Maria? Thank you, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we are going to continue with the body language. So we know what body language is. And also, uh, by the nails and emojis, right? So, next we are going to practice this conversation. And this conversation, probably you already listened to it. It's here in section four, right? Have you listened to that conversation already or not yet? Yes. Yes, okay. So, yes. we are going to review it just to check the pronunciation. La vamos a repasar por la pronunciación, okay? Let's okay. listen. Let me know if you are able to listen. If not, try to let me know also. Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay, very good. Who can tell me what this uh, conversation was about? What was about this conversation? Um, it's about uh, Raj. It's about Raj, exactly. He's from India and another person, right? A classmate, right? And what was the problem? At what the was the uh -huh. the hair side to side? Yes, he used to move the head from side to side, right? Yes. Why did he move the head from side to side? To say yes or to say no? To say yes. To say yes, to say yes right? That's why the other people didn't understand, right? So, for example, if you like it, he said, no, like this, but he was trying to say yes, right? Because in India, supposedly, I didn't know, right? According to the conversation, they um, that's when they agree with you, right? Mm -hmm. So do you like the class? Yes, right. So mm -hmm. that's that was the problem. So that was the problem in the conversation. Do you have any question about the pronunciation or uh, the vocabulary? Preguntas, questions about the conversation? No question? Okay, we will try to practice it. Vamos a tratar de practicar. I will make it a little bit bigger. And we are going to listen to it again. Do you want to listen to it again or do you want to repeat it after uh, line by line? Listen again, teacher. Okay, let's listen to it again. Let's see. Yes. Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, 
Oh, so that's what it means. Sorry, I need two volunteers to practice the conversation, okay? Two people, volunteers. Dos voluntarios para practicar la conversación. Conversation? Me, Me teacher. teacher. Okay, Maria Siwenza, and who else? Me, teacher. Okay, Jaime, okay? Maria, you begin, and then Jaime follows you. Okay, haven't you reached the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seemed really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moved his head from side to side when you talk to him. Do you know like this? Maybe. It means that he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Oh, or it could mean he doesn't agree with you? Actually, people from India sometimes move their head from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Finish. Teacher. Teacher. Sorry, again, I have been, it's, I have a microphone here in my headset, so sometimes I believe that I'm talking to you, but I, I don't not see problem, teacher, not Sorry. So I, I was asking you if, if uh, there's other two people who wants to participate, other two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Carla, and who else? Walter, okay, Carla and Walter, go ahead, please. Have you met, uh, okay, have you met Raj and student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed, he moves his head from side to side when he talked to him, you know, like this? Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I, no, I don't think, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay, very good. Perfect, Walter. And thank you, Carla. Perfect, perfect pronunciation. Also, Jaime and... Maria, they did it very good. Let's see, have you met, right? Have you met? Because this is the past participle, right, of meet. So this is the past participle, met. Let's see what else. He moves his head from side to side, right? Moves his head from side to side. Um, it says, I don't think so, right? This is kind of difficult. Think, right? I don't think so. It could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Very good. What is the meaning of that's what it means? What does it mean? This? A eso me refiero. A eso me refiero. Oh, is it, is it that? That is the meaning of oh, that's what it means? A eso me refiero? Eso significa. Eso significa, right? Oh, so that's what it means. Ah, eso, eso significa, right? So that is the meaning, right? So that's what it means. Very good. The last two, los últimos dos. My teacher. Me? Okay, Juan Linares Catherine. and who else? Catherine Bolaños. Okay, Juan Linares, you begin and then Catherine continues. Okay. How do you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there is there's one thing I noticed. He moved his head from side to side when you talk to Jean. To Jean. 
Jinnal uh, Lady? Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I'm, I don't think so. Or it could be mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their health from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's why I mean? Okay, very good. Perfect. Uh, let's see. What is the meaning of agree? What is the meaning of that verb? Estar de acuerdo. Estar de acuerdo. Very good. Estar de acuerdo. I agree with you. Estoy de acuerdo contigo, right? So uh, when you listen to a conversation, please try to imitate the intonation and also the, the mood, right, of the one who is speaking. Try to imitate also, like, if they are talking in, a, like, the, the, the pronunciation. Like, for example, if it is a question, have you met Raj, the student from India, right? No, I haven't, right? Try to imitate. Imitate, for that reason, we'll listen first the conversation. I know it's kind of difficult, um, but try to do it in that way, right? So in that way, you will sound more natural when you speak in English. That's what we are going to look for today, to speak more natural in English. So, for example, we, we don't have to say, I know it's kind of difficult because at the beginning it's, it's kind of difficult. We need to practice a lot and a lot and a lot. But uh, try to do it in that way. Like, for example, well, he seems really nice. Try to do it as uh, if you want to speak slow, that's okay. But try to imitate, right? Well, he seems really nice. But there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him, right? So if you speak slow, it's okay, but try to, to listen and then imitate what you listen, okay? We have another conversation in a couple of minutes, so uh, we will try to, to do that. We are going to talk today about models and adverbs. As you can see in this conversation, they are trying to use or they use some models, right? For example, it could mean, it could mean could is the, let's say that is the past of can, but also is a model verb, right? Podría, podría significar, right? It could mean. And let's see, I guess that that's the only model verb that they use here. And they use also some adverbs, right? Like really nice, really nice, really is an adverb. But we are going to check here specifically the models and adverbs. So models are, for example, might, may, could, and must. And adverbs are maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably, definitely. So those are models and those are adverbs. They are similar, right? Because uh, they talk about possibility, right? Possibility or certainty. For example, in the first um, example, it says, it might or may mean he doesn't understand you. It might mean, what is the meaning of that? It might mean podría, right? It might mean, podría significar. It could mean also podría significar, right? And that must mean, eso debe, must is debe. So it's certainty, right? It's not a possibility. You are 100% sure that that is um, uh, the meaning, right? The must mean. So you're more sure about that. And also with adverbs, it's the same. Maybe, perhaps, right? Maybe, perhaps, that is a possibility. Possibly, probably, that is another possibility. And definitely, is that you are sure that that, it, that is the meaning, right? Maybe, perhaps, it, it means he doesn't understand you, right? It possibly means, or it probably means he doesn't agree with you, or that definitely means he agrees with you. And we have more gestures here. So let's see, what is the meaning of the first gesture? Number one, that is the, these are the possible meanings, right? Good luck, be quiet, peace, that sounds crazy. I can't hear you or that come here. That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy, right? Are yes. you sure that is the meaning? Yeah. Yes, right. Perfect. Number yeah. two, 
What is the gesture? What What is the meaning of Come that? Here. Come, Come here. Come here. Come here. Number three. Be quiet. Be, Be quiet. quiet. Number two. I'm sorry. Number four. Good uh, news. Peace. 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 Right. Peace. And number five. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Uh -huh. Good luck. And six. I can, I can hear, hear you. I can hear you. So pro definitely that is the meaning, right? Very good. Perfect. Let's see here. So I want you to, we are going to write some uh, questions here. For example, I'm sorry, some examples about models and adverbs, just for you to notice how it is used. For example, if I'm not sure about number one, uh, probably I can say it might. It might mean, um, it's uh, crazy, right? That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. Perfect. It might mean that sounds crazy. Number one, right? Might is a model or is an adverb? Model. It's a model. It's a model. And after a model, the verb will be in infinitive, right? This is like an invisible infinity because infinitive is to mean right that is the infinitive of the verb but if we use a model we don't use to we erase it so it might mean mean is the infinitive so it will be like in the present right but it's not in present it's an infinitive so it might mean that sounds crazy so that is a model now another one with an adverb it maybe or it possibly it possibly means, let's see number two, uh, come here, right? It possibly means come here, come here. So possibly is a model or an adverb? Model. It's a model? I bet, teacher. It's an adverb, right? Um, it's yes, an adverb. Yes. Possibly. Posiblemente. Posiblemente yes. significa. So possibly is an adverb. Posiblemente significa, right? So it means, it possibly means, right? In this case, it has an S. Why? It might mean no S. It possibly means there is an S here. Why? Because in uh, plural. Yes, exactly. It's a third person, right? Tercera persona singular, yes. it, right? Eso, eso, eso. Exactly. That's correct. So it means, right? So this is just modifying the, the verb, possibly, posiblemente, right? So that's the reason why it has an S here. This is an adverb and this is a model, you see? That's why it is important to know uh, the difference. Uh, let's see... Another one, I will I will do other two just an, as an example, right? It must, this is for certainty. Aquí cuando estamos seguros de algo, usamos must. What is the meaning of must in Spanish? Debería. Debería. Debe. 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 Debería, should. Right? Should. Debe. So must, debe. Debe de significar, right? It must mean... Uh, be quiet, right? Number three, it must mean be quiet. What is he doing? I don't understand what is he doing. Oh, it must mean be quiet. That that gesture, it must mean, it must mean be quiet. So this is an adverb or is a model? A model. model. Must is a model, perfect. And the equivalent is definitely, right? Definitely. What is the meaning of definitely? Definitivamente. Definitivamente. Is it an adverb or a model? Adverb. Adverb. Uh, very good. Perfect. It definitely means, let's see, number two. It definitely means peace. Right? Peace. Or she's trying to say peace, right? Not two. They made those. No, right? Peace. So definitely is an adverb. So that's why it has an S here. Por eso aquí tiene una S, right? It's an adverb, it's not a model. 
So uh, let's go into practice another conversation. This is a conversation about Eva and Brian. And they are talking about another student, right? The same problem, right? Language, uh, body language. So we are going to listen to it here. Unit 14. Now I get it. Page 93. Exercise 3. Conversation. It's pretty confusing. Part A. Are you able to listen to the conversation? Yes? Make it bigger? Please. Bigger, okay. Like this, are you able to see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, what is the recommendation that I gave you before at the beginning of the class? With the other, with the previous conversation. <laughs> You're listening, right? You're listening to me right now. What is the recommendation that I gave you with the previous conversation? ¿Qué recomendación les di en la conversación anterior? Imitate your pronunciation, teacher. Exactly. Not my pronunciation, but the pronunciation from the conversation, okay? Traten de imitar lo que oyen, okay? I don't want to... Uh, it's okay because we are learning and everything, but we need to improve, right? So I don't want to say, for example, uh, let's practice, okay? And then how was dinner with the new... Bulgarian student last night. What's her name? Elena. Where is the intonation, right? Try to use intonation because it's a question, right? So imitate. Traten de imitar lo que escuchan, okay? For example, if you have someone uh, who you really like, like for example, an actor, an actress, a musician, try to listen to that uh, interviews and try to imitate the, the way they speak. So let's try to imitate this conversation, okay? Listen okay. and practice. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists, and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. Okay, do you want to listen to it again? Yes, you should. Okay, let's listen a yes. second time, okay? How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists, and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. Okay, perfect. Now questions about the pronunciation or any new vocabulary preguntas no questions you understood everything teacher what do you mean in the no no she no she nods right she nods her head up and down like this this is nodding this is nodding like saying yes, Lord, right? Mover la cabeza de arriba abajo. She nods her head. 
Ella mueve la cabeza, up and down, right? So that is the meaning of nods. She nods. Another question? Questions can be not, not only a meaning, right? Question can be pronunciation, right? Uh, sorry, teacher, how, how do you pronounce Bulgarian? Is that the correct pronunciation, teacher? Bulgarian? Yes, bul Bulgarian, right? Bulgarian. Bulgarian. Yes. Okay. Okay, no questions? Teacher. teacher mm -hmm. What is, what is yeah. the pronunciation? The uh, word is rude. Uh, where is it? Uh, and Eva, uh, it could mean she doesn't uh, want can, anything. Okay, it yeah. could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Okay, rude. Rude. What rude. is the meaning of rude, Noe? Eh? Reglas. Like rude, like grosero, right? Okay. Es, puede que sea, ella piensa que es grosero decir no. Uh, rude can be also rude, right? But when we are talking about more, um, politeness, uh, we say it rude, right? Grosero. That's the way we translate it. I don't want to be rude. No quiero ser grosero. I don't want to be rude. Very good. Perfect. Another question? Teacher, uh, what's the meaning? Then the has insists. Has where is it? Has, when when Eva say Eva the the, the last the last uh, uh huh uh, then the has insist and you answer it the the ah, last the, five the, the last, oh yes. Eva it might mean she wants to accept it but she thinks it's not polite in some countries you have to uh, refuse it right any uh, offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. The meaning of host, host is anfitrion, right? The host, like from the party. If you are going to have a party in your house, Jaime, you will be the host. So you will prepare the food for your guests, right? You will prepare the music. You will prepare everything. You will clean your house because you will be the host. So that okay. is the pronunciation, host. Okay, okay, do you want to listen to it again or are you ready to practice? Ready to practice? Listen again, teacher. Okay, we are going to listen the last time. But remember, right, um, try to imitate, try to imitate. And I, I want somebody who hasn't participated yet. Alguien que no haya participado, okay? Y después, you can repeat. So the first two people who hasn't participated. Let's listen to it again. It's pretty confusing. Part A. Listen and practice. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists, and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. Okay, perfect. Now I want two volunteers to practice the conversation, please. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Me, Carla teacher. And Eric, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So Carla, you begin and Eric will follow you. Okay. Okay. Who was the dinner with the new Bulgarian student the last night? Was her name Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time. But I still don't understand her and don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept 
it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, have to refuse any offer first. The host insists, and you have said it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want to anything, but she thinks it's rude to say not. Actually, in some countries, when the people move their head up and down, it means no. Really? No, I get it. Okay, very good, very good. It's better, you're improving, you see? You're improving, better, better. Very good, let's see. Um, it, was, it was nice, okay. Sometimes in Spanish, we are probably Salvadorans. I didn't know if, but we Salvadorans, we eat S, right? Nos comemos las S in Spanish. Creo que es, es algo que nosotros hacemos en El Salvador in Spanish. Because other accents, probably they pronounce the S, right? Uh, otros acentos como tal vez el español de España o los otros acentos. Pueden que pronuncie mejor la S, pero nosotros nos comemos la S. Por ejemplo, if I say it was night, it was night, night, or it was nice. It was nice, right? Nice. So we need to pronounce all the words, right? Nice. Another thing, um, it says, but at the same time, what is the pronunciation of this word? Says. Says. Says, like number says? No. No, like number six, como el número seis. It's says. Says. She says no. And you say no or no? No. No, exactly, no. no. She says no. So that is the way to pronounce right. But at the same time, she says no. And she wants, right, try to pronounce the S, right? She wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. Try to do it slowly, right? You don't have to, I might mean she won't accept it, but she thinks it's not. probably later, right? When you speak faster, right? Um, it's pretty confusing in commission dance. Oh, it's rude, right? Probably probably you might think it's rude, but it's not rude. It's rude, rude, right? Rude. And when you say no, it's no. Don't say no like in Spanish. In Spanish is no, right? But in English is no. I'm trying to do this because I have another class. They are in advanced English. Ellos están en avanzado but they are doing the same mistakes, right? Probably because nobody told them, probably because they never wanted to practice, probably because they are used to speak like that. Tal vez ya se acostumbraron a hablar así el inglés y nunca se quitaron esos errores. Ahora están en avanzado y they still have these kind of problems, okay? Todavía tienen estos problemas. Así que traten de eh, ir mejorando, no que de repente, de golpe, pero con pequeñas cosas, eh, detalles, van a, vayan mejorando. Now I need two other volunteers, other two volunteers, please. Hey, teacher. Okay, Noe, and who else? Me. Okay, Sandra. Okay, Sandra, you will begin and Noe will follow you. Okay. Who was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name, Elena? Yeah, Elena, it was nice. Uh, we always have a good time, but I still don't understand uh, her very well. You see, when we offer uh, her sometimes to eat or drink, she knows her. It's up and down, but at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, uh, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept, accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. Uh, 
it could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their hair and that, and that is me, no. Really? Uh, no, I get it. Okay, very good. Better, better, very good, better. Mejor. Okay, remember, a nuts, right? Nuts, her head up and down. And accept, right? Accept, accept it. You accept it. It's difficult to pronounce it, right? Um, but yes, the, the rest was okay. The last two, los últimos dos. The last two. Uh, me, teacher. Okay, Jose Ramirez. And who else? Me, Catherine. Okay, Catherine, you will begin and Jose will follow you. Go ahead. Okay. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offered her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she say, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she drinking is not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could be me she doesn't want anything, but she dreams it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their head up and down, it's mean no. Really? No, I get it. Okay, very good, perfect. This, it was better, you see? When you practice a conversation, it's like you're acting, right? When you say action in a movie, right? And you start like practicing and you are someone else, right, in English. So that's very good, perfect, very good pronunciation, better. Very good. Now we are going to continue to finish the class because we almost finished. Um, we are going to finish with models, okay? Vamos a terminar hoy con los models. And you can find this information in the platform, right? So models is for a slight possibility and strong possibility, right? Slight possibility, it might mean or it could mean. Strong possibility, it must mean. Debe, no debería, right? Debe, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps. It possibly or probably and definitely, right? Definitely. So definitely is a strong possibility. And it says, if we are not sure about the meaning, we use models. If we are not sure about something, right? We use might, may, and could. And if we use adverbs, we use maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. So these are adverbs for possibility. And these are models, right? So if we are sure about something, we use must. The model must. Or if we are sure we are sure something about uh, something, we use the adverb definitely. So remember that it, we have models and we have adverbs. Important to know the use of maybe and perhaps always go at the beginning of a sentence. Um, sometimes, right? Perhaps and maybe go at the beginning, but can be also at the end or in the middle. So it's not a rule, right? It's not like a fixed rule. So sometimes it can be at the beginning, right? Maybe and perhaps, and possibly, probably, and definitely, definitely go after the subject. Let's see. So that will be um, models and adverbs. Do you have any questions about models and adverbs? Preguntas? Teacher, uh -huh. the models works as an auxiliary of verb. Yes, exactly. They are like auxiliary verbs. Yes, models. Thank you, teacher. Okay, another question. Okay, no questions. Okay, now we have checked different conversations, right? For example, this one, right? 
uh, maybe it means he doesn't understand you. Also, we have another one here, right? It might mean she wants to accept it, right? But I want to know if you can use them in a different situation, right? So I want to write more examples here. Here, aquí. I want to write more examples. Quiero escribir más ejemplos. So uh, let's see, um, Jaime, choose some someone, alguien de sus compañeros, choose someone. Okay, teacher, uh, Eric. Okay, Eric, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, give me a sentence with the modal might. Might. Yes. <clears throat> with the other verbs, right? Sorry? With, with the other verbs. Yes, like a sentence. I want to write an example with might. Give me an example with might, please. Mm. A sentence. Okay. And let me think. Yes, go ahead. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult, okay. right? Difficult. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. What is the meaning of might, Eric? Uh, podría, podría ser. Podría, exactly. So in Spanish, uh, give me a sentence with podría in Spanish. Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, uh, um, my mow you, your car? You might. My you car podría mover su vehículo. Mm, okay, very good. You might move your car. Like in a question or in an affirmative sentence? In affirmative sentence. Okay, you might move your car. And in what situation can you use this a sentence, Noe? In what situation would you use you might move your car? ¿En qué situación la utilizaría esa oración? You might move your car. Como pedir permiso para que se quite, like, can you yes. move it? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so in this case. You move, you move, you move the, the car because I have a very much space. Okay. Okay, we use could, better, better is could, right? Could you move your car? Because might is possibility, right? Might, podría, pero no de poder. Podría de que podría pasar algo, right? Podría suceder algo. So might, I think it won't be a very good option. Possibility. Yes, I, that, is, that is for ability. Can, can you have the ability to move your car? Yes, so I would use could, right? Could you move your car, please? Could you move your car? Okay. Okay, so you might is something that uh, probably, um, is it raining oh, yeah. in your house? Uh -huh. is, is it raining in your house yes. right now? Yes. yes, yes, it's raining. Yes. Okay, yes, because in my house it's not little. raining, it's really a, hot. A little. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, perfect. Yes. So uh, tomorrow. I have, a, I have a sentence. Uh huh, yeah. But I have a question too. Okay. We can. We can use a verb in past participle. Like a, a verb in past participle, like in which situation, Eric? I mean, like in an accident. Example? Uh, that accident uh, could have been worse with his bias. Yes, could have been worse. Yes, it could have been worse. If we can use that structure, but I just want um, that, yes, you got you just it could have been worse uh, with an auxiliary, right? But I just want a sentence with might. But yes, you can use it like that. Could have been worse. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. So, for example, but we can use both, right? Mm -hmm. for, yes. It's the, use, it's the, it's the yes. same meaning, right? It's, yes. In that way, we can say that it's the, the same meaning. It might be worse or it could have been worse, right? 
it might have been worse. Yes, you can use both of them in that, in that situation. So for, for example, if it is raining tomorrow, it might rain. Mañana podría llover, right? It might rain. So it's a possibility, right? We don't mm. know. It's a possibility. Now, mm. let's see. Jose Ramirez, give me a sentence with maybe. Um, An adverb, maybe. Oh, okay. Um, is an answer. Uh, someone asked for... Um, for school, mm -hmm. the, um, uh, yeah, um, yeah, maybe. I <laughs> that is that is your sentence. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> very very good. Someone is asking me something. Yeah, maybe right. Yeah, very good. But <laughs> like this one, for example, maybe. It means she wants to accept it, right? Or maybe, um, uh, for example, are you going to go to work tomorrow, Jose? Maybe I. Maybe. I, I will work. Uh huh. I will work. I will work this weekend. Okay, that is another one, right? Perfect. Maybe I will work this weekend. Perfect. Perfect. But yeah, maybe that that's another <laughs> option, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Very good. Uh the last example, right? Let's see. Um Sandra Cecilia. Are, are you there, Sandra? Yes. Okay, very good. I like that spirit. Let's see. A uh, probably. Give me a sentence with probably, please, Sandra. Um. It's probably we uh, go to work tomorrow. Oh, I, right. I, I probably go to work tomorrow. You don't know if you're not going to work tomorrow? Walk, walk, Camina. Uh, walk, you don't pronounce the L. No se pronuncia la L en esa palabra. Yes. Walk. Walk. You don't say walk, no, walk. So prob I probably go to walk tomorrow. So that is a possibility, right? If I want to say something that I'm sure that I'm going to do, I definitely, definitely go to walk tomorrow or will go, right? I probably will go. We'll go to walk tomorrow. Perfect. Very good examples. Perfect. You see, so try to use this, this vocabulary, not only with uh, these kind of conversations, but with other conversations or other examples. Tomorrow we will have more examples with models and adverbs. Let's see a review. Vamos a hacer una revisión. But if you have any question, any doubt, let me let me know, right? Uh, in the in the WhatsApp group. We will have a lot of information and <laughs> we are going to excuse me. Okay. <laughs> no, problem. no problem. And tomorrow no problem. I will I will, no problem. Okay. <laughs> yes. And tomorrow I will give you another homework. Okay. Así que la, la, la tarea sería nada más repasar models and adverbs for tomorrow. Okay. okay. Uh, do you have any question right now? No question. Okay, perfect. So I will see you tomorrow mm -hmm. at nine o'clock. Uh, please have a nice night and uh, be careful tomorrow. And thank you. And I, I appreciate your effort. Okay. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow, okay. guys. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good tomorrow.